England Machine and Tool heat race number one of three tonight at the Great Lake Super Sprints here at Crystal Motor Speedway. They'll be side by side in the chalk line off turn four. Grand Dolman, Eli Lake and off turn four. Green is up. Green is out. We're underway. Give Dolman the nod down into turns one and two. Daggett trying to go to the inside of Eli Lake and Lake and in step with Dolman. Here they go down the back straightaway. Give Dustin Daggett the second spot. Daggett slide job for the top spot off turn four. Your leader at number one's Dustin Daggett. Daggett will take the lead down into turns one and two. Here comes Eli Lake into the outside of Greg Dahlman trying to make something happen in seven. He can't do anything that time off turn two. Meanwhile, Dan McCarron racing his way up to fifth. He is now the final transfer into tonight's main event. Off turn four, battle for second. Here comes Eli Lake and now looking to the inside of Greg Dahlman in turns one and two. Dahlman will go up the racetrack. Eli Lake in through the middle trying to get into that second spot off the second corner. Nothing doing. Back to turns three and four around the outside. Eli Lakin trying to put a charge in the one on the 70. Can't quite get there. Meanwhile, Dan McCarron trying to reel in Kobe Allison for that fourth spot. McCarron trying to put the cushion between himself and the Knights event. Off turn four, cross flags, halfway home, four and four to go. McCarron with a big move around. Kobe Allison moved McCarron up to fourth and now Allison into the fifth and final transfer spot. Into turns three and four, battles on for second. Here comes Eli Lakin once again, trying so hard to rip the lip, but Grant Goldman nice and smooth and patient on the bottom. Back to one and two, Lakin still on the inside. Grant Goldman trying to find room to work on the outside. Goldman just hogging up the middle of the racetrack right now, not leaving Lakin anywhere to go. Two by two for the second spot through turns one and two. Lakin on the inside. Greg Dolman takes the nose off. Meanwhile, white flag waves for Dustin Daggett. One more time around for Daggett in the number 85. Down the back straightaway for the final time. And into turns three and four and off turn four. Winner of England Machine and Tool Heat Race number one is going to be Dustin Daggett. For the second spot, Greg Dolman. He will hold on. Eli Lakin third. Fourth will go to Dan McCarran. And Kobe Allison will get the fifth and final transfer spot. Coming to a stop on the back straightaway, picking up England Machine and Tool Heat Race number one in the Homeworks Construction Suite Manufacturing, Engine Parts Plus, DB Automotive, Sanborn Real Estate, Midland Steel, Matt's Lock and Safe, sponsor number 85. Give it up for Heat Race number one winner, Dustin Daggett. Could be your top five who transfer as they run right now. Beacon and Bridge Markets Heat Race number two to the chalk line off turn four. Green is up, green is out, we're underway. Stanball will take the early lead down into turns one and two. Taylor will slide into the second spot. Head Hud Horton and Casey Jenerzek battle for third. Not for long, though. Hud Horton trying to reel in Taylor. Off turn four. Leader of lap number one will be Max Stanball. Battle for third. Horton slid up, took the line away from Jenerzek, who had trouble on the outside with the wall. He'll tuck in line down through turns one and two. Takes a peek to the inside. Down the back straightaway. Jenerzek puts the power in and will slide up to third. Horton now has company. Here comes Mac Frank trying to look to the inside. Frank trying to slide up into the fourth spot. Frank holding down the fifth and final transfer spot. Caleb Harmon trying to say something about it. Here comes Harmon on the bottom of the racetrack. Harmon now into the fifth and final transfer as they work to turn three. Harmon trying to hold down the bottom. Max Frank trying to get to the inside. Make something happen. Blisters those tires off turn number four. He'll now work to the outside through turns one and two. Harmon looks good on the bottom though. He will hold the fifth and final transfer spot down the back straightaway. Battle heating up for second. Casey Jettersek railing in. Gary Taylor sliding through turns one and two. Taylor starting to open up a little bit of a gap on Jettersek as they work back to turns one and or three and four. Max Frank still trying to reel in Caleb Harmon for that fifth and final transfer spot. Harmon sideways off turn number two. Here comes Frank on the bottom side by side for the fifth and final transfer. Frank looking good on the inside. Harmon rolling tight. Whoa, nearly made contact off turn number four. Both drivers back out of it. They're back to work into turns one and two. Harmon on the top shelf. Frank on the bottom as the white flag waves for Max Stambaugh. Second and third dealing with lap traffic. Gary Taylor and Casey Jenerzek and Taylor or make it. Kevin Martin spins around to the top of turn number two and the caution flag waves. Good battle for second as well. Restart cone. No passing until they get past the cone on the front straightaway. Off turn four. Green is up. Green is out. We're back underway. 
Good stop for Stamball. He gets away from Gary Taylor. Jenerzik trying to look to the inside of Taylor through turns one and two. Down the back straight away. Jenerzik has a line on the bottom. Taylor tries to take it away. Jenerzik is there. Side by side off turn number four with a white flag in the air. That's for the second spot. Battle for the transfer heating up as well as they go back to turn number one. On the bottom for second. Here comes Jenerzik. Good run on the inside. Down the back straight away. Move Jenerzik into second. Gary Taylor going to try to come back on the outside. Beacon of Bridge Markets Heat Race winner is Max Frank. Jenerzik will hold on for second. Taylor third. Fourth will be Hud Horton. And Max Frank will get the fifth and final transfer spot. Fifth and final transfer spot goes to Max Frank. Hud Horton finishes in fourth. Gary Taylor third. Casey Jenerzik finishes in second. And winner of Beacon and Bridge Markets Heat Race number two out of Elida, Ohio in the Lock and Varner Sunrise Archery. Jim Coffey and Sun Plumbing and Heating number 71H. Give it up for Mad Max Stambaugh. Lay down in turn number four. Front row will need to be side by side when they hit the chalk line. Jim Coffey and Sun Plumbing and Heating Heat Race number three. Make their way off turn number four. Green is up. Green is out. We're underway. Gressman gets the start. Here comes Hortzman. Slider through turns one and two. Jared Hortzman, will he stay on the top of the racetrack? No. Phil Gressman takes the lead back. Here comes Kelsey Ivy for second. Ivy will get around. Well, three wide for the fourth spot through turns three and four. Two cars on the bottom. Chase Reidenauer slides back off turn number four. Chase Dunham, Devin Doby in a knot right now for that fourth spot. Now the battle's on for the fifth and final transfer. Chase Dunham will slide through into fourth. Devin Doby in danger of losing the fifth spot. Here comes Reidenauer around the outside. Right now, we're looking to try to go two for one off turn number four. Couldn't get it done. He'll tuck in line with Chase Dunham through turns one and two. Now right now, we're trying to back it up off the cushion down the back straight away. Right now, we're in the fifth and final transfer spot, trying to put some cushion between himself and Chase Dunham. Meanwhile, here comes Devin Doby now, trying to get his way back into tonight's main event. Right now, we're up high through turns one and two. Doby going to use the bottom. They'll go side by side down the back straight away. That's for the fifth and final transfer spot. Ridenauer takes the line away through turns three and four. Battle just ahead of them as Chase Dunham gets to the tail tank of Jared Hortzman through turns one and two. Dunham will slide up to the outside off turn two. Hortzman will use the bottom and pull away for that third spot. Bill Gressman continues to lead over Kelsey Ivy. Jared Hortzman, Chase Dunham, and Chase Ridenauer has the fifth and final transfer spot. But here comes Devin Doby to the inside once again through turns one and two. Nearly make contact off turn two as Ridenauer continues to hold the fifth and final transfer. Devin Doby trying so hard to pin it on the bottom through turns three and four. Just cannot find what he needs to get around the 0-1 of Ridenauer. This time by white flag waves for Phil Gressman one more time around. Through turns one and two. Nothing too dramatic as they work into turns three and four. Winner of Jim Coffey and Sun Plumbing and Heating Heat Race number three is Phil Gressman. Kelsey Ivey second, third will go to Jared Hortzman, fourth Chase Dunham, and Chase right now will hold on for the fifth and final transfer spot. Let it wire to wire and picked up the Jim Coffey and Sun Plumbing and Heating Heat Race number three win. Makes his home in Fremont, Ohio on the England Machine and Tool, JR1. Rod Meyer Incorporated, Hoosier Racing Tire, sponsored number 7C. Give it up for your heat race winner. It's the Ohio Gas Man, Phil Gressman.